Hi, welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a January transfer move to Arsenal. I'm out and about today, uh, got a meeting down there in Trafalgar Square, and uh, you know what, I got in a bit late last night, so I did manage to get over to the studio in time. But listen, as usual, we bring you Transfer Daily. I also kind of delayed the show because I wanted to find out what Arsene Wenger was going to say at his press conference this morning ahead of the big game tomorrow against Chelsea. And um, he had some very interesting things to say. Now, you might have seen uh, last night that there were a lot of links linking Francis Coquelin with a move away from Arsenal. Again, this is another really surprising one. Uh, Coquelin has been a regular in the team now for a couple of seasons. But uh, yesterday, these rumours emerged that Coquelin has been linked with a move to Valencia. Hence why he was left out of the team to play um, at the weekend. Um, it was a real surprise when he was left out of the team for the FA Cup. Um, now it's kind of becoming clearer that the reason why that happened was because he could be moving to Valencia. Arsene Wenger asked about it at a press conference this morning, did not deny it, right? He did not deny, he didn't say where he's going. All he said is that he's, listen, he's not going to be going to West Ham because he's been linked with a move to West Ham as well. But he did not deny that Francis Coquelin will be on the move and it looks like Coquelin will be leaving Arsenal. And if he does leave, who does Wenger plan to bring in then in that defensive midfielder role? Has he got somebody lined up? We'll have to wait and see. Um, but not denying that Coquelin's on the move. He was also asked a lot of questions about Alexis Sanchez. Again, you know, <laughs> didn't really give a great response on that. Just really said that, you know, he's had no bids yet from Manchester City. But there are lots of rumours going around saying that this could be tied up by the end of the week. And again... If Alexis Sanchez does go, what does he have in the way of replacements? That, you know, who does he have in mind? Again, it's going to be really interesting this January window to find out what happens with that situation. Ask questions also on Johnny Evans. He was very coy on this. He didn't really, you know, explain himself. Didn't really give a definitive answer on whether Arsenal are in for Johnny Evans or not. All he could say was when he was asked that, you know, is he going to bid quickly because Manchester City might be in on the bidding as well? He just came out and said, well, listen, if Manchester City are in in the bidding, we're always going to be second best. That's really encouraging. I know they've got loads of money, but we've got a bit of money as well. So why can't we bid? And again, is Johnny Evans the answer um, to what we need at Arsenal? Would you have Johnny Evans at Arsenal is what I'm going to ask you guys today. Um, we'll do a little poll on it. Would you like to see Johnny Evans at Arsenal? Simple yes or no. Wenger also asked about Ozil and asked about Jack Wilshire. He just came out and said, listen, there's no further news on those guys regarding their contract. So again, that hasn't been sorted out. That needs to get sorted out ASAP. Um, we also today linked with a, a really talented midfielder, Ivan Rakitic. Now, Rakitic, 29 years of age now, really talented player, plays for Barcelona, has been one of their top players over the past few years in that midfield area but it seems like now that Coutinho has arrived that he could be surplus to requirements he wants to play first team football of course so you're checking out his age 29 he wants to keep playing and um been linked with a move to Arsenal today Rakitic would be a good signing very very good player um would be a good signing for Arsenal but uh, whether that happens or not we'll have to wait and see this is going to be a, some really intriguing window for Arsenal and finally um Thomas Lamar now, with all the stuff going on about Alexis Sanchez, will Arsenal renew their bid for Thomas Lamar? Now, the manager of Monaco, um, Jardim, was asked about Lamar the other day and, uh, you know, will Lamar be sold? Because uh, the owner of Monaco has previously come out and said he's not going anywhere this January. Jardim didn't discount it. He said that, listen, you know, if, if the money's right, he could be gone in January. So. Again, really interesting what's going to happen with Lamar. Will he come to Arsenal? Will he go to Liverpool? You know, this is going to be quite an interesting window because already things are happening that I didn't realise. I mean, the Cochrane one has been a real surprise to me. So we have to wait and see what happens with all of those. But those are the transfer rumours for today. We'll be back, of course, tomorrow. Um, but it's really getting interesting. Not with players coming in at the moment, just that who will be left at Arsenal. Thanks for watching subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV.